All right, welcome to a fun new tutorial for fire, water, ice. You guys are gonna love this one. This game's a lot like rock, paper, scissors. If you've played that game, you know how this works. But in this game, fire gets beat by water, water gets beat by ice, and ice gets beat by fire. But if you tie, you die. All right, so what's great about this game, if you've played fire, water, if you've played rock, paper, scissors, you know how to play. But with this game, we use a webcam to put our players into the game. So check this out. Click on the webcam, and all of a sudden we got players inside the video game. This is fantastic. Hey, tell you what, let's meet our players real quick. All right, classic matchup, player one versus player two for an epic battle of fire, water, ice. All right, let's get right into the action. Before the game started, we had you guys write down your moves on a piece of paper. Uh, I mean, put the hand orbs in there so you guys know where to put your hands. So go ahead and get your hands ready to go. And we're gonna go round one with what you already selected. So let's see how they did. Round one. It looks like, oh, fire versus fire. But you know what happens if you tie, you die. Oh, man. All right, round two. Let's see how they did. Round two, see if they learned their lesson on round two. Oh, it looks like it's water versus ice. Well, we know that water gets frozen by ice. So that means, sorry, player one, you just lost. All right. Oh, they reversed. Turned it around. All right. That means it's all tied up, guys. It's going to come down to this one right here. Who's going to win this last round? All right. Looks like, oh, we got a fire and a water. But, oh, you know what this means? That means water puts out fire. So that means player one wins that round. And it looks like... Player one won the game. Good job, player one. All right, so that is fire, water, ice. Let's show you how we make it all happen. All right, so here's how to set up the game. Just like with all of our games, we have the on off screen right here. If you click that on and off, that will turn the game off. And then when you click that button there, it turns it on. And we've done right below that, we've got a screen selector. With that screen selector, you can pick, it'll show you all the displays you have connected. I've got a computer or a second display connected through HDMI to the big screen right there. And so that's shown up as uh, screen number two. Then we also got custom fit. If you wanna type in, I'll let you type in uh, whatever resolution you want and the location and select the screen you want. So if you have a lot of screens connected, that one's super helpful. Then windowed mode is just one that'll just pop up in a window. It's great for practicing or rehearsal. All right, so that is the screen controls. Then uh, down below that, we got the edit photos. Click that button and then all of a sudden, you, this new window is gonna pop out. Now that window is gonna have uh, these uh, little uh, templates to show you how you want the face to look. <laughs> so you'll all see that uh, your webcam will show up there to show you uh, what you're about to take a picture of. So this is, uh, the first round is gonna be uh, the player versus player, then player one uh, win and player one lose, then player two win, uh, players who lose and player two win. All right, so let's do, so Caden, you're gonna, we're gonna do this row right here for you. So let's do your game face. So you wanna match that template, yeah, that photo right there. So let's see your game face, come on. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, now let's see you win. You're a winner, Caden. You're, you're a winner, fantastic. Okay, now you're lost, you're, you're really sad. Okay, so sad, all right, fantastic. All right, let's get player number two in there. So player number two, yeah, find your spot. You see what you're trying to look like. So game face, get angry. Come on, get your game face, yeah, all right. Now let's see, you're, you're sad, you just lost. So let me click that button to take a picture. And now you're winning, you just won, big win. All right, fantastic. Y'all did awesome, We're gonna hit, we can, if we wanted to uh, type their names in, we could just type them in right there if we wanted to. But we're just gonna leave it player one and player two for now. We're gonna click the X, that'll save all that, and we are ready to go. Because keep on working down that, we've got these setup guys. Now the setup guys are real helpful, if you want to uh, show like your camera people, hey, that's where you guys want to be standing. So you can just turn those on and off and it will help your cameras and your people uh, line up where you want the shot to be. But then we've also got these hand orbs. If you put the hand orbs on, it'll show them, like once it's all set up, it'll, they'll know where to put their hands uh, to get the shot to look uh, the way they want it to. So uh, the hand orbs are super helpful there. All right, then just going on down, we are working, uh, this game is made to play over the top of a camera. And so there's a couple ways you can kind of uh, make that work. Well, you can do it with a, if you, if you click black, then you use a, a video mixer and do like a luma key. And then if you've also got green, so if you wanna use a, a video mixer and use a chroma key, uh, that's how that would work there. And it'll also show you whatever your uh, screen option is right there as well. 
And then uh, we've also got Alpha. What Alpha does is it removes the game and puts it, it just puts it over your desktop. So this is actually, you can see, this is just my regular desktop. You can see my mouse back there. So if you have a, um, a setting where you seem to play this over the top of another, uh, another application, like if you have ProPresenter or something else you want to play this over the top of, removing the alpha will let you play it over the top of other applications. But then uh, the one that we think most of you are going to use is the webcam option right there. Now the webcam will just uh, show you um, um, a webcam. <laughs> now, but we've also got right below that webcam mirror. What webcam mirror will do when you do that, you'll see it's just flip-flopping it into mirrored mode. Now we've also got the option, you can actually select different uh, uh, different cameras here. So if you'll see right now, I'm on USB webcam two. I've got a USB camera connected up there, up at the top. So if you look right up there, there's a webcam that's recording all of this. I can also select the built-in webcam here on my Mac. So I've got this uh, HD webcam option right, wait for it. So I got the option right there. You can see all the USB cameras connected. So I can have my FaceTime HD camera or my external USB webcam right there. So you select the one you want and then hit change camera. So that's really important to hit change camera right there. All right, so then that is the setup for everything. Now you're ready to play the game. So before it starts, you're gonna hit the intro loop and you're gonna see we got this cool logo happening here. And you can see just like right there, if I don't wanna show the, uh, the, the webcam, I can click the black and we'll split black. I can turn the orbs off. So there you go. So now I've got a cool walk-in screen. we are kind of playing like that. When I'm ready to play, go to, to battle mode and that will, and then uh, show my webcam. So, hey, here's my players. They're ready to play. Uh, it's a classic matchup. And I'm gonna show the show players to show, that's a, our, our classic matchup screen right there. So that shows player one versus player two. And then I uh, battle mode and you're ready to fight. So player one's controls are here, player twos are here. So you just click fire, water, or ice. So if I click fire and player two selects water, then I hit fight, then you'll see the animation just plays right over the top of the screen, just like you would expect it to play. Now, we, uh, we also showed you how to use uh, the crowd's noise level or buzzers to buzz in. And the way we make that work is right here with the select movie. So when you have select movie playing, uh, then now all of a sudden you're gonna see a video pop up and it's gonna be either fire, water, or ice. They either click in or cheer for whichever element they want to select. So if they cheer right now, they get ice. Uh, but now, just to you real quick, can you guys come here real quick and show me uh, how the buttons work? All right, so if you wanna use the buzzers, we use, we use this little select move. That's gonna play an animation on the screen. And whichever element shown, whenever they click in, that's the one that they're gonna pick. So you can see right now, as it's playing, uh, like uh, it's gonna show fire. And if Caden hits the button, you'll see it, you'll see it light up. And then if it shows water, when it, then Will hits the button, you'll see it light up there. And they can change as many times as they want. And once it's all done, you can see that the fire and water's light up. You just have to hit fight. And then it, it plays the animation for you. So it's a really cool way to play this wirelessly. And we've also got, uh, underneath a slight move, we've also got auto. So if auto is turned on, it'll, it'll just keep on playing. I don't have to click anything. These guys can just with their wireless buttons, they can pick whichever one they want. And you can see as they're clicking it, it it's, it's highlighting it and they can switch it up. And so whichever one they're playing, when it's, all, when it's all done, then it's gonna go ahead and it'll trigger the animation. It's gonna play and then it'll remove the score as well. So it's a really cool way that auto feature will just keep on playing until, the, until you have a winner. So if it gets down to the last uh, player and uh, you pick it and there's a, uh, and they both pick the same thing. So you can see there's only, uh, they both are done just one life. And if, if both people select the same thing, we've both picked ice, then what the game's gonna say is, sorry, a tie has been detected. Uh, you can't play if there's a tie. So it'll just start the loop over again. And then they'll know to, to buzz and select something different. So this time if they pick uh, fire and water, then all of a sudden we're still in auto mode. So we should know who the winner is. And we all know that water puts out fire, so that means water wins. That means player two wins, player one's our loser, and then it'll play the appropriate video at the end. Sorry player, sorry player one, you're a loser. All right, so that is Fire, Water, Ice. Now, uh, the, the trick here at the end of the game, when you're ready to restart, just go down here and hit reset scores right down here at the bottom. That's really important. That sets all the, that sets all the players back down here to full lives, and you're ready to play again. You need to go back to the intro loop, and uh, you're ready to play again. So uh, that's Fire, Water, Ice. Uh, hope you liked it. Have a great time. If you have any questions, let us know. But have fun playing Fire, Water, Ice.